Welcome back to your SIU Medicine Minute. Joining me today is Kelly Powell, a dietitian and nutritionist uh, within the Division of Endocrinology at SIU Medicine. Kelly, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, today we really want to discuss the continuous glucose monitoring uh, and really just have you elaborate exactly what that is. Okay, so in diabetes, Folks have to check their blood sugar by poking their finger. Traditionally, it doesn't feel so good and it's not so convenient. Um, but we need to know which way to turn, how to add food, change medication, where, where are we? And so those blood sugar numbers help us to know what to change in their therapy. A continuous glucose monitor, instead of poking your finger several times a day, you put it in once a week, once every two weeks, and it monitors all day and all night and can give you alarms to tell you if you're gonna go too low or too high. So who really creates or makes these uh, glucose monitoring systems and is there a difference between them? Okay, yeah. Um, right now there are two main manufacturers, the most commonly used, Dexcom, and the Libre 14-day. So Dexcom is a 10-day sensor worn in the abdomen, and you can have a handheld device to receive the data, or you can put it on your phone and get alarms that way. Uh, the Libre 14-day, as it sounds, uh, it's a 14-day wear, and that goes on the back of the arm, and you replace it every two weeks. But again, you get the benefit of that data all the time. Okay. And who would be a good candidate for these continuous glucose monitoring systems um, to just kind of help manage their diabetes? Well, uh, the more complex the management regimen is, the more helpful that data can become. And anyone would agree that they would like to check their blood sugar less and have that information all the time. So really anybody uh, with diabetes can benefit. And always a popular question, I'm sure. Insurance, how is the insurance for these monitoring systems? Good and getting better every day. Medicaid covers, Medicare covers, and private insurance has a lot of coverage. That's good to know. Kelly Powell, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for watching today's SIU Medicine Minute. The SIU Medicine Minute brought to you by SIU School of Medicine. For more information, visit our website at siumed.org.